in this lesson we're going to talk about the idea of what a variable is. Now, in this cup, I have dice, and you can see there are dice there. The question is, do we know how many there are? The answer is, we don't. We could guess what it is, but we don't want to guess what it is. What we want to accept is, there is a definite number in this cup. We don't know what it is, but we know it has to be a definite answer. For instance, there has to be a definite number of cars on the road right now. We have no idea what it is, but we know that there has to be, you know, a certain answer to that question. Likewise, there has to be a certain amount of people eating food right now as we speak. We have no idea what it is, but we know that the number exists. So again, what we're going to do is take a look at, I have dice in here, we don't know what it is, I could simply lift the cup and know, but in the meantime, if somebody says, Mr. Long, how many dice are in here? Instead of saying, I don't know, we want to be able to say something uh, more accurate, so to speak, more intelligent. The answer we're going to give them is a letter. We're going to say there are X dice in this cup. Now, why are we doing that? We're doing it because a variable, by definition, is a letter. We don't know the number, but we're going to use a letter to represent the number that we don't know. So we can at least say, oh, there's X amount of dice in there. So let's go back. Hey, there are X dice in there. Hey, there are B amount of cars on the road right now. There is W amount of people eating food right now. We don't know what the answer is, but we can at least use something to represent it. Now, what we do from there is we need to get more information. Okay, sometimes you're told what X is. Sometimes you're told X is 6. Sometimes you're given that. So someone would say, you know what? I'm going to tell you what X is. X is equal to 6. So you would know that right off the bat. Sometimes you're not told what X is right away. Sometimes they give you information to help figure it out. Uh, some number under this cup, and if I add the number 2, I will get an answer of 8. So you could do some figuring and say, okay, what number plus 2 is 8? Uh, 4. 4 plus 2 is 8. No, 4 plus 2 is only 6, so that's not true. Uh, oh, 6 works. That if I take 6 plus 2, I get 8. So sometimes you're given information about it. Here's another cup. I have a different amount of act, I'm sorry, a different amount of dice inside, so I change what letter I use. Okay, I no longer have six, so I now have A. Let's check. There are dice in there. The question is how many? Well, I don't know, but I can at least say, hey, Mr. Long, there's A amount of dice in here. If I really wanted to know, I could lift the cup, or somebody could give me more information about it. So let's do this. Mr. Long, 10 minus whatever is in the cup gives me the answer of 7. Now can you figure it out? You didn't know what this was, so you at least gave it a, you gave it a name. You gave it a number. You gave it the number A. Okay, so what's 10 minus A equals 7? What's A have to be? Well, 10 minus what is 7? Uh, 5. 10 minus 5 is 7. No, 10 minus 5 is only 5. So let's check. That's a true statement. So again, remember, the idea of a variable is a number. I'll show you this again. It's a, I'm sorry, a letter that represents a number that we don't know. 